How did you come to pick up his pills? He called me and wanted to know if I could do an errand for him to pick up his, his meds. And I was with Robert, my... You are Robert? My yes, friend. So we were in that area, and he took me home to get my car so I could deliver his, his meds after we picked them up. So tell me what happened when you picked them up. When I picked up the pills, I signed for it. The, the bag was stapled, and it stayed stapled until I got to Steve's house. He told me that um, if I would give him a pill, because he hasn't had a pain pill for a while. Well, how did you do it? I opened up the unstapled, uh, the stapled uh, bag. I handed him a, opened the bottle, opened it, gave him a pill. I gave him something to drink, and I put the pills back into the bag, and I folded it, the top of it, and I handed it to him. I was in front of him the whole time I gave, I had the bag of medicine. And did he ask you something else after that? He asked me to go get him some, uh, some Chinese food. Mr. Irich, what happened after she left to go get you the Chinese food? I got a TV tray. Uh, I set it in front of me, and I poured the pills out on the table. Why? To count them. They weren't in there. She knows exactly what she done. The sack, when she walked through the door, it was already open. You know how they stayed? When you counted the, the pills, how many were there? There was 80, 89 there. How there. many were missing? 30. So then what happened after that? By the time she got back, I had them on the TV, or the TV tray, and I had them in groups of five. And I told her, I said, Deanna, do me a favor. Uh, would you count those? Because that's exactly what came out of the bottle. Of so what happened to them? It was already open. The bag was open. That's what, no, that's oh, what, right. what I noticed right What off happened the bat. after you confronted her? She ran out the back door. I got four locks on the back of my door. It took her a minute or two, so I was able to get outside in my electric wheelchair. When I came out the door, I was in front of her car. She put it in gear and actually came towards me. That's why I hit the car. With what? My cane, sir. Where did you hit it? Where did you the hit hood, it? The hood, sir. Did you see if you damaged her hood in any way? I know I had to have. When she finally started backing out the driveway. Now, did you take his Percocet? No, I did not. I don't even take my medicine. <laughs> Do you know what Percocet is? No, I don't. You know, it contains oxycodone. I don't know. It's, what it's, that is it's a very serious. She knows what they were. Pain take, relaxant. I don't take pain pills. How many times did he hit your car? Three. Several. Well, when you say several, what, what right can you be more specific? Eight or more. Eight, times. eight, eight or more. more times. And where did he hit your car? Right there on the driver's side of um, my hood. On the hood. Get your attention, right? Okay. Just because a second, told, Mr. Irish. Towards me, Mr. Irish. I'm sorry. Do you occasionally have a drink or two? I drink beer. Were you drinking that day? I was. How much were you drinking? Uh, probably three or four beers at the time. Would you consider yourself somewhat intoxicated? No. You sure now? You know what you're accusing this woman of? Sir, when she came through the door, the bag was already open. The receipt was in her hand. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Judge DeWalda? So in your answer, Mr. Eirik, you say you had her count your pills. And Why... she told me they were all there. They're all there, Steve. She just got to tell me that. Okay. When she got back with the tiny food, I asked her, I said, Deanna, count these pills, would you again in front of me? She wouldn't do it. She got upset with me and started going out the front door. I blocked her. I told her, I said, Deanna, I want my pain pills back. And you're the only one that had any, you know, anything to do with them. And you're saying that you never spilled the pill bottle out? No, I only took, I opened the bottle and took him, gave him one, like he asked me to. Okay. Robert. Yes. You are corroborating what the plaintiff is saying in terms of the bag being sealed. It was sealed when you picked it up. You know, you pick a prescription, it was sealed, man. You didn't see anything else at the house? No, but Deanna's not a person that, you, that would do something like that. Okay.